Imagine living in the aftermath of a chilling murder scene. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, infamous for orchestrating her mother's murder, has been released from prison. But where does she live now? Is she still living in the very same house where the shocking crime went down? The Lifetime documentary series Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup follows the post-prison journey of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, who was sent to prison for her involvement in her mother's 2015 murder. Allegedly motivated by her mother's interference with her relationship with Nicholas Godijon, Gypsy Rose orchestrated a plan to kill her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Goat John traveled to Missouri where Gypsy Rose provided him with tools for the murder and he fatally stabbed Dee Dee while she hid in the bathroom. Gypsy Rose infamously posted on her mother's Facebook after the murder, leading to their eventual arrest. Both were convicted with Gypsy Rose pleading guilty to second degree murder and receiving a 10 year sentence. However, Gypsy Rose had a complex and tragic relationship with her mother Dee Dee, who portrayed Gypsy Rose as severely ill and disabled when she wasn't. By the time she was 8 years old, Gypsy was allegedly suffering from leukemia, muscular dystrophy, vision and hearing impairments, and seizures. Gypsy also used a wheelchair to get around and a feeding tube for nutrition and medicine. But this was orchestrated by Dee Dee. Dee Dee controlled every aspect of her daughter's life, including medical treatments and public appearances. Gypsy Rose grew up not knowing much about the world outside of doctor's offices, hospital rooms, and the pink house in Missouri where she lived with her mom. But did Gypsy Rose end up returning to that home after her time behind bars? Fans familiar with the story will recognize the small pink house in Springfield, Missouri, where Dee Dee and Gypsy Rose once lived. Habitat for Humanity built the house for them following the loss of their Louisiana home to Hurricane Katrina. The home was specially designed with features like a wheelchair ramp and jacuzzi to help ease Gypsy's muscular discomfort. Since the debut of Hulu's popular show The Act in 2019, the home has attracted curious visitors and turned into a tourist spot. According to a local news station in Springfield, there was an increase in cars passing through the area, with many stopping outside the now vacant house. Some individuals have even exited their vehicles to explore the property, peer through the windows, and take photos, much to the concern of neighbors. Despite Gypsy's release from prison in late 2023, she never moved back to this home and instead decided to stay in a temporary Airbnb rental with her ex-husband Ryan Anderson. The house that served as the scene of the crime has undergone significant changes, including a new owner and color, but it hasn't been torn down. Property records indicate the Springfield House, which offers three beds, one bathroom, and just over a thousand square feet, was sold in 2021. It was rumored to now accommodate another mother-daughter duo, with recent renovations including a change from pink to blue siding and removal of the wheelchair ramp. There was also a change of address as an attempt to get rid of unwanted attention. Despite these changes, the question remains if homes like this can ever fully escape their dark histories, as being associated with violent events often just lingers on. If you're wondering where Gypsy Rose is living now, when she was released from prison, she moved back to Louisiana, the state where she was born. She settled in the Lake Charles region where her then husband was from. In 2022, she married Ryan Scott Anderson while in prison. While Gypsy Rose initially lived with Anderson in Louisiana, she announced their separation and filed for divorce in April 2024. Gypsy met her now ex-husband Ryan after he wrote to her following his viewing of Tiger King and Mommy Dead and Dearest. Gypsy said, We met in 2020 during the height of the pandemic and I was experiencing a lot of emotional highs and lows. Unfortunately, it further restricted our freedom in prison. Ryan has been there for me through some really good times and some really tough times. Anderson and Blanchard obtained a marriage license in Chilcot, Missouri on June 27, 2022. A month later, they wed in a small prison ceremony without guests. Gypsy Rose and Ryan split only three months into their marriage. Reports suggest she still resides in the state of Louisiana, living close enough to regularly spend time with her father, Rod Blanchard, and stepmother, Christy. That'll wrap up today's video, but could you ever live in a house where a scary crime went down? Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you in another video. Bye.